know. Darker Skies says one point, one question. Point. Why do the Groypers and Nick take Baked Alaska back in for people obsessed with optics? This is bad optics. Question ask. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, no, I'm not reading the, the next one. But about the Baked Alaska thing, it's just another uh, grifter, another uh, person who plugs exactly. to anything. It's, uh, and Baked Alaska, he, again, who is this person? I mean, he is. Uh, at best a curiosity or amusement i mean he live streams and does weird unbelievably cringe rap videos about the police or yang gang or whatever he's doing he's nothing and uh you know i i could be criticized for tolerating him in 2017 in 2017 I felt like everyone was coming to us and so people like baked alaska were getting on board and being pro alt right and and doing it in a kind of fun way and it was like all right well you know we we shouldn't kick people out i mean if they're if they're coming here if they want to be edgy and so on this is a good thing but you know i learned a lesson which i perhaps should have known is is people unserious people like baked alaska are are they're going to grift off you when the times are good they're going to throw you under the bus and abandon you once any kind of pressure comes on And then they're just going to just flip, flop this way, that way, over and over. I remember, I think it was last fall after one of these shootings, Baked Alaska did this, you know, serious video, you know, so earnest. Oh, oh the yeah, the pipeline of the alt-right. <laughs> yeah. And then he's like, the Groypers, the Zoomers. Eh. Like, it is so obvious how just ridiculous he is. And like any person who takes Baked Alaska seriously at this point is, I cannot take you seriously. We've seen enough. What more do you need to learn from him? What more do you need to see of Milo to recognize that he's a bad actor? Um, I, I just, I, I don't know. I, again, I have this experience, kind of painful experience of having these people you know, praise me or, you know, oh, they want to hang out, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, three months later for after I've done nothing to them, you know, throw me into the bus. Oh, he's terrible. He's, oh, it's, it, you know, I, I have this painful experience. I, I mean, just try to learn from me. You don't have to, you don't have to relive it. Just, just don't deal with them. I mean, they're just, they're just bad people. I, I think the alt-right would actually be better if it were smaller and more intense and had people that we could rely on and people who aren't going to fold like a deck chair. That is a better version of the movement than this wishy-washy, oh, we're just trolling there, guys. Whoa. You know, kind of movement. It, it's just, that's what it was in 2015. And we saw what happened to it. And now people want to recreate 2015 and 2016. I find it like I, I get accused of, oh, you haven't learned anything from Charlottesville or, or whatever they want to say. I have learned a lot from that period. And you can see, I mean, I, I have other reasons why I've kind of taken a step back, although I've stayed in the public square to, to a degree, don't doing this program, et cetera. Uh, but I have learned a lot. I would do things differently if I could turn back time. I will certainly do things differently in the future. Uh, but what is happening now is just this rehearsal of 2015 and 2016. We're in the 2015-2016 mode of, you know, it's all anon and anonymous. And it's we're, we're literally using frog avatars again, but we're using a different one this time. I mean, a guys, one. we know what is going to happen. And serious people have moved on. And these other people are, are, are just trying to reinvent it, but we're going to have different kind of cogs in this machine this time. I mean, have Absolutely. fun, guys. <coughs> but I'm not going to be a part of it. And about <coughs> also, Trump, oh, go Trump ahead. was a potentiality in 2016. He is a reality now. Um, and we can't pretend... Like he's a potential again. Like what will Trump do? <laughs> We know what he'll do. <laughs> Nothing. And actually a lot of crap too. So let's not reelect him. 
Yeah, and if there's any future for Donald Trump, it is a move toward the center even more than his own proxies like uh, Charlie Kirk. So if you're if you're triggered by the leftism of Charlie Kirk, wait, wait till you see the leftism of Trump. Charlie Kirk is right. just the shield of Donald Trump. 